got in the game until this point, and we find God. And thank you for the people that are on their way here and the people that are in here. And we hope and bless them. As in Jesus' name, I pray you. Okay, so as I was saying, my name is Roger. about a simple subject called, it's, it's simple yet broad, change. Okay, this is a yes or no answer. If yes, raise your hand. If no, keep your hand down, okay? <laughs> How many of you need change? How many of you need change? I see some of your hands were up. We all need change. us here in church, out there, in the world, even anywhere actually, even if it means just not arguing with your parents, if it's not telling other people about the, the Lord, your God, it's just so much stuff that you can take for. It can be one thing, it can be ten things, it can be thousands and millions of things, but we all need change. So, first, I'd like to ask a question. Who said you can't change? Nobody in this world can stop you from changing, except for yourself, except for yourself. You yourself can determine, do I want to change? Do I don't want to change. You can decide. It's, there's nothing, Pastor um, can't tell me that I can't, that I can't change. Because God knows that I need change. And God has told me, it's in the Bible. He said, we all need change. So, now, how does Christ's death on the cross enable us to change? Christ's death on the cross enables us to change because he's, God sent down his one and only son, one and only son, to come down on this earth and die for us. Yet we will do something as simple as just change into his ways. He went through so much more stuff than we will go to. Really? Wait. Uh, Matthew 4.17. You can get there. 